Am I getting cheated on by my BF? My boyfriend and I have been dating for almost two years now, ever since we got together we've always shared our location on Life360. I've never not be able to trust him so I never really checked his location, that is until recently. A couple of days ago I was at his house walking my dog with him, when this car ahead of us stopped and rolled down their window. I was super confused and taken back because I had no clue what was happening, however it was a woman around my age in the car. She called out to my boyfriend completely ignoring me, saying, his name, is that you? I didn't know you lived over here too with a smile. He responded to her and I found out that she was his co-worker through their conversation as I am awkwardly standing there holding my dog's leash. The entire time they were talking, I wasn't looked at or spoken to, it felt like I was invisible. Finally his co-worker said she had to go to work so she drove off just leaving the two of us and the dog. When she left he didn't speak anything of her or the situation again, but even in the moment it truly bothered me and made me uncomfortable. Since he constantly talked about how he didn't have any friends at work and he never talked to any women, not that I care but he's big on not having opposite gendered friends and swears he has none. A big reason it bothered me was because we had been fighting recently, I hadn't been intimate with him due to stressful life events causing him to be distant and upset. But enough with the backstory, to get to the point ever since that day where he ran into her, he's turned off his location twice that I've seen. All late at night, midnight and later, and not only would he turn off his location on Life360 but also find my iPhone. And I know his phone didn't die because it would tell me the last percentage it was at before it was cut off. He's even gone to the point of turning his phone all the way off. When I realized his location was off I went to text him and my texts never said delivered but stayed blue. I can't tell if I'm overthinking this or not, but I truly think it's weird for him to start this habit right after we run into a co-worker of his that lives in his neighborhood and obviously is close with him, yet he never mentioned her to me. Does it seem like he's cheating? Comment. First thought is yes but even if he isn't cheating he's hiding something from you. Definitely think you need to ask him what's going on. Turning off location for time periods should be all you need. Location is either on for both parties or off for both parties, at all times. There's no in between. He's being dishonest about something and tbh it doesn't really matter what it is, your relationship sounds awful and it sounds like you're both miserable. It would annoy me personally to be in a relationship where we tracked each other all the time, who are you my mother? Am I 6, the fact that you both have done this throughout your relationship means that's what normal looks like to you too. What's not normal is him turning off his tracking device after midnight after some pretty girl from work said hey on the street to him. And he's doing multiple things to hide it like turn his phone off. That's like when I set extra alarms in the morning because I really, really don't want to be late. It sounds like he really, really doesn't want you to know where he's at after midnight. If I didn't want to be tracked by my GF for some odd reason I would say hey baby, we've been together for two years now and we can trust each other now right? We don't need to be each other's parole officers right? I'd be direct and say something. It looks like he doesn't have a problem with the overall concept, just that there's really specific times he does. I'd be direct and confrontational, as in confronting him, do not read belligerently standing there with your battle axe. Say hey baby can we talk for a minute? The other day when your co-worker came by, I felt uncomfortable because you didn't introduce me, and she didn't look at me or say hi even though I was clearly with you. Also, I notice you turn off your location and phone sometimes late at night and it makes me kind of paranoid. Would you be okay with me looking through your phone? It really put me at ease. If he says no, not proof, I mean he took the fifth, but I'd say you have your answer. Maybe he's just young and aloof to things like hey a pretty girl from work just stopped and said hi to me, maybe I should say obtw oh, this is my gf, say hi gf, gf says hi. The phone thing and the timing thing though? I don't know. Just be honest and talk to him and go into it ready knowing you might hear something you didn't want to hear. 
Next story 2. I looked through my girlfriend's work mail and found exposing emails from co-worker. What should I do? Context, me and my girlfriend have been together for about 6 months. We have been seeing each other for about a year. The start of our relationship was a bit rocky. At the time we started seeing each other she had a boyfriend. We worked together and had very good chemistry. One thing led to another and she had an affair with me. We had an affair for about two months. It developed into love from the both of us. I gave her an ultimatum and said that she had to break up with her boyfriend or I would stop seeing her. She broke up and we started dating properly. We dated for some months until we agreed to officially become boyfriend slash girlfriend. We are very much in love and I do not doubt for a second that she loves me very much. I love her as well. When she had left her previous boyfriend, they lived together, I was using her phone one night. For context we know the codes for each other phones and I was looking something up while she was taking a bath. She is fine with me using her phone. I had a quick moment of curiosity and looked in her Snapchat. Here I saw that she had texted with another colleague and that she had sent pictures of her work schedule. I had also noticed that in the beginning of her starting in our department, roughly around the same time we started having an affair, she had very good chemistry with said co-worker she had texted. The texts was a few months old. This was shocking to me, but in a way I had seen it coming. The kiss in itself wasn't the problem. Prior to our relationship. Problem was she at the time had a boyfriend. She could see why I had issues with it and said it was only a few times. She had also told me that her previous relationship was bad and that she should have ends it long time ago. I have since then said to her that trust is the most important thing to me in a relationship and that she should tell me if anything more had happened between her and said co-worker back then. She have always maintained that they only kissed back in 2020 and nothing else. Jump to today. I had a bad gut feeling and looked through her work mail. Know her password. Here I saw four very exposing emails between my girlfriend and said co-worker. There wasn't any black and white evidence of them having hooked up, but in between the lines it pretty much was stated. These emails are from February 2022. When I saw these my heart dropped to the floor. I'm afraid that she has been lying and that they have slept together with would make me lose all trust in her. Or it could just be a flirty fun mail. Should I confront her and admit that I have been looking through her email? What would you do? We are moving in together in 14 days. Comment. Let me see if I understand all this. When you started seeing your girlfriend, you were working together and she had a boyfriend. She cheated on her boyfriend for a couple of months, with you, and then broke up with him to date you. Now you went snooping through her phone and emails and found something that maybe she slept with another guy from work. But you are both very serious about each other. You have a very skewed perspective on this relationship and you shouldn't be too upset that she might be lying to you since, by having an affair with you when she was dating someone else, you pretty much encouraged her to lie to the guy she was dating. This relationship isn't as important to her as it is to you. It never was. Funny coming from someone who got with a person who is in a relationship and decided to get in a relationship with said cheater, as well as snooping in her email too. Anyway, I don't know why would you believe that the person that cheated on their previous partner with you, wouldn't cheat on you with someone else. You reap what you sow. Best advice I can give you is to break up, stay single for a while fix yourself so you don't go chasing someone who is already in a relationship and expect them to be loyal to you when they cheated on someone else with you next story three i feel like i have different goals in life than my gf how can i express this to her i've been dating this girl for just over two years my family loves her and her family loves me we both love each other and everything i've done with her i've thoroughly enjoyed doing the past few weeks though I've just gotten this feeling that what we both want in life are not the same. Mainly due to me I think, I'm starting to truly realize what I want in life. She is in school for teaching and I have a permanent job for who I work for. 
she has made it clear that she wants to be married, kids, the whole shebang. She is a great person, but can have very bad anxiety and be very uncertain about making decisions. She is also a homebody, I know that deep down she doesn't want to move. Even though she has said she would. I currently love what I do for work and have even thought about moving far away to pursue it further. My whole life hadn't really thought about having a family or even kids. I've always brushed it off because my family has always said I'll grow out of it, but here recently I've really come to terms that I don't think I want kids. I've discovered that I really don't have an interest in a family either, both for now and the foreseeable future. Along with the fact that I'm not emotional, to kinda a scary degree. But that's another problem in itself. She is very emotional at times and I feel that in the long run I won't be able to help in the ways that I should in those situations. I have a very black and white view on things and just blunt. I feel we are starting to go down different paths and the last thing I expect is for her to change what she wants or to go away from what she has said. Like I've said, she is an amazing person and I don't want her changing because of me. I just can't tell if I'm overthinking it or if it would be best to end things and allow her to find someone that could truly match her. Part of me also feels that I've already made a decision, but it's not because I've completely fallen out of love, I just can't see the future and it being truly happy for both of us. Comment. Sounds like as you grow into yourselves, you're starting to realize and accept that you're incompatible. The reasons you've listed are all excellent reasons to break up, as difficult as it will be. This is far from uncommon for people who date as teens slash young adults. You're going through a lot of growth and changes in these years, and it's going to happen that you grow in different directions. I'm proud of you for beginning to respect your own feelings in spite of what your family is telling you. That's a hard thing to do, but a very necessary part of growing up.